The 2024 total solar eclipse is finally here Monday, April 8th, and it could be the last one for a very long time for us here in Texas. Over the past 150 years, we've actually seen 15 total eclipses and that's total solar eclipses in the US over the past 150 years. So really not that many and this year is a little bit different than the years past. So the most recent total solar eclipse was in 2017 going right along South Carolina and towards the northwest. This time it is coming from the south right below Texas straight to the northeast. But this year the path will be much wider, almost two times wider. It'll be about 108 to 120 two miles wide stretching over a lot of us in Texas and our next eclipse will it will not be until 2044 so 20 years from now and it won't be in the best of places in the US it'll be over us but you'll have to travel very far to go and see that and our next eclipse here for Abilene and in Texas will be beyond the year 3000. So unfortunately, a lot of us may not be around for the next time one will come over Texas. Looking back towards the past, this is the path here in 2017. Here you can see it going right across South Carolina all the way towards the west there. So quite a long path. This one might be a little bit of a shorter path per se, but you can already tell the width here is much larger. Again, almost two times as large. So we're starting all the way down in Mexico, coming across the south of Texas. A lot of that in the southeast there, closer towards Austin and Dallas. We'll see that in just a second, but going all the way up towards the northeast, right above Nain through New Brunswick as well, right out of us on across to the oceans. And this other path here might be a little bit more confusing, but this is the eclipse, the annular eclipse that we saw in October of 2023. So just recently, a few months ago, that was the one that came right across our area as well. We got that eclipse kind of the half moon shaped that came down towards uh, those shadows here in the Abilene area. So 2017 was the last one and 2024 is now this one we're looking at. So exactly what is a total, total solar eclipse look like and how does that happen? Well, the earth is rotating around the sun while the moon is rotating around the earth while the earth is rotating around the sun. So what happens is during this certain point during the day, so around 137 here, the moon will be exactly in between the sun and the earth. But this year, making the path a little bit wider is that moon is looking to be a little bit closer towards the earth this year rather than 2017, creating a wider path, but also creating that larger totality there. So when the moon is closest to the earth, it kind of blocks the sun, even though the sun is much, much, much larger than both the moon and the earth. The moon is able to block the sunlight completely. So now looking at our path, you're going to see it kind of crosses right over between the moon there. And then we see the path of totality here traveling right across Texas and our areas just missing us by a little bit. And then across the uh, United States, there's definitely a percentage of viewing everywhere. But as you get closer towards the west here, only 20%, you can see they're only going to see a little bit of that sliver of uh, darkness there, which is really is going to create much for them and towards our our area, we are closer towards a partial eclipse really instead of total. So we will still see this lighter color here as part of that sun peeking through. So taking a look at the full path here, we're going to stop it just a little bit short of our area so you can see where what's the closest towards us. Austin is just making it barely in that path of totality, but Dallas and Fort Worth right along there as well as Waco. And if you take kind of take the center of this here, that is where that 100% totality will be. So no matter what inside of this area right here between those orange lines, it'll be 99 to 100, but it'll stop a little short of the Abilene area with people closer towards Brady being able to see that the best as well. So closer towards 99%, we are around 96.8, but this is going to go all the way up past Dallas and Fort Worth into Arkansas and then all the way up towards the northeast of the United States traveling very quickly. As you can see, we're already at four o'clock. So over about a, a four hour span, 
four to five hour span. We're looking at this traveling all the way towards the northeast there, Maine, and then it kind of heads out to New Brunswick, Canada. So a very, very long path there for them, but you can see we are in that partial area for the eighth and just off towards the east of us where that blue line is 100 to 99% totality. We're missing just a little bit, but this is what it's kind of going to look like here. So just that moon, you're going to get be able to see that nice and dark. It's definitely going to create a dimness in our area, even if we do have that cloud cover. We're going to see the sun kind of peak out just a little bit with 96.8% of that eclipse. Max eclipse at 1.37 p.m. And then that kind of ends towards 2.57. So the whole thing takes a few hours, but the actual totality will only be about a few minutes. And there will only be a very short time span where you can kind of take your glasses off, which leads us to our safe solar viewing tips. You are going to need your safety solar glasses. So do not look directly at the sun before or after and in our area. Since we can see the sun a little bit, you're going to want to keep those glasses on. So these regular sunglasses do not provide enough darkness. So the solar sunglasses you will get if you wear them on inside, you will not be able to see anything at all. Whereas unlike sunlight sunglasses, you'll be able to see a little bit indoors. But with those, nothing at all blocks out all the light. Only look at the sun through an approved solar filter filter if you're using a camera, if you build one of the boxes like a pinhole or binoculars, make sure you have the correct viewing of the viewing uh, safety tips there as you can go along with your solar clips.